people, we're back with another edition of Three Men in a Vape Fucking Submarine. <laughs> I'm only joking. Three Men in a Vape Show, ladies and gentlemen, and we've got a special guest this week. We've got the flat cap vapor. He's not even from Yorkshire, but he's a peaky blinder. We've got our usual guests. Guest? Guest host? Yes. No, the host. No. <laughs> We've been <laughs> demoted, so <laughs> We've got our usual host, the wonderful Salford Vape. How are you, brother? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad at all. Good. And we have got the one and only PMN, Mr. Coyley. Oh, well, I mean, that, that sounded really... Where get P&M from? <laughs> Sounds like a bargain fit. store, like B&M. <laughs> Just for women. <laughs> How you doing, brother? You all right? Uh, I'm very, 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 very well, thank you. Are you? Yes, Are you I am. sure? I am absolutely positive. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a fun pack show for you tonight. We, are, Like I said, we've got a special guest. Uh, how are you doing, brother? Yeah, good. Yeah, really good. Thanks. Thanks for being on. Really excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go straight away to the wonderful Simon because he moans oh. every week about what Salford's got. How many setups have you got this week? Well, here we go. <clears throat> so, I've just uh, got to sleep now. Uh, uh, it's time for revenge. I am vaping on the Gate RTA, which I received from uh, Mr. Nature Vape last week, which I'm really liking. Mouth to lung, and that's on top of the Coral uh, mod. And in that, I have got. Oh, can't guess it again. Did he just say uh, muff? Uh, it sounded like it to me. Muff. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I heard, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> You just said muff. <laughs> in, in, it's muff what? It's gone red. I'm right. losing my mind. Red. I have uh, a clue what type of muff you were talking about, but fruity, fruity freak. I'm gonna have to watch that back. Fruity that freak. Fruity, muff? fruity freak in that one. I am also vaping on the uh, Claymore Met mod. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, I have the Kennedy Twenty Four, and in there I have. The Vapors Dozen uh, Jemmy Dodger, which I really like. Um, I am also vaping on um, my Digiflavor Siren V2, which is another mouth to lung tank on top of the Aspire Good Speeder, Speeder Mod. Yeah. Good thing. Uh, and in there, uh, that's a bit leaky actually. Um, I have uh, just Jam, Raspberry, favourite for the uh, mouth to lung tanks. Uh, what else have we got? I've also got yeah, the um, SX Mini, uh, the SL class. On top of there, the off, 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 OF, RF. Off of the Off of the Gear RTA. Inside that, Just Jam uh, Raspberry Donuts. I'm a big fan of Just Jam. Uh, I'm also vaping on the. Uh, are you enjoying this, Salford? <laughs> I enjoyed it when you started <laughs> off in Muff. Keep going, keep going. I'm just nodding off. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the Orion Q still pod. Uh, in that, the uh, dinner lemon, the dinner lemon, dinner lady lemon Nick Salt. Is that Nick Salt one? Yeah, Nick Salt one. Um, I'm also vaping. Oh shit! It's empty all cupboard out tonight, aren't they? You know yeah. everything. Yeah. Do you know what batteries I'm using as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, what's that called? The Aegis Legend, the special edition, um, sort of lazy weight one, which I really like. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, Aqua Reboot, the tune Aqua Reboot on there, and in there, I I I forgot how much I like this. I, I had this a few few months ago, and I just started vaping it again. Which is the Pancake Factory. Yeah, Snickers. Snickers. Oh, it's gorgeous, really isn't it? Awesome. It's Some people uh, don't like it. Big love, Zan. <laughs> just, just, a, just another half dozen to go, Salford. That's all right. You, you carry on, Simon. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, this one's been over to um, buried new so This is the Mage uh, 2019 on top of the on top of the can't what it's called. <coughs> no, I'll have, to, I'll have to remember what that is. It's the Phantom. Revs, yeah, that's it, on top of that. Uh, and in there, uh, I am still vaping Moorish Puff. Uh, and this one is the Raspberry Custard. Oh, he's and on I his like... puff again. He's on his puff again. Yeah, and I like this one so much, I bought two more bottles of it this week. The Raspberry Custard, really nice. Has it turned up yet? Really enjoying that. Hey? Has it turned up yet? Yeah. 
So what what, what actual um, thing Make sides on it? Is it that circle one or the actual? Both, both. I had so I had the same place again. I got two more of these, and I got the apple. They do an apple one as well. I don't know what the apple one was, and the apple one had the circle on it, and this one has the Union Jeff one. I'm, I'm the review's up tomorrow for that. Again, all from the same supplier. So, and that's it. I'm done. You sure? You've yeah. not got anything else left in covered? I can go get some more off the shelf if you want. Go on then. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on to the next Grumpy Vapor. Salford Vape Reviews. On the week. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't put my glasses on yet. Hold what are you on, vaping on, on Salford? Well, one minute, one minute. I'm waiting for fucking Harry Potter to come back up. <laughs> Where's Wally gone? Where is he? Where's he gone? He's Where's all he gone? There we go! Hey, there he is! <laughs> hey! Hey! Look at that! <clears throat> Where's <clears throat> yes, Simon. It was correct then. TVP got it absolutely bang on. Yeah. yeah, bang on. Right, I'm on my T18 as normal with my own uh, tobacco in. I'm on the gate, <laughs> but I've got the tree box, the. Uh, Zebra wood smock, old one, really nice. I had to play about with the airflow piece on this. I don't know if you have Simon, but it's not made much difference to anything. I've just I've used it on the slit one, but to now yeah. nothing else. I haven't used it on the little yeah, hole one. Yeah. on this one. Yeah, I mean the adjustable one on the inside. Have you not had to play with that one yet? No. Ah, oh, no, no, I'm not too sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm on the show gun with a katana tank on, and I've got some nasty juice. Uh, Crap in here again, which isn't bad. Still got the armor prime out with the OBS Creus uh, RDA that no one seemed to have bothered about, which is a real good one. It's top airflow as well. Which one's that one sold? The OBS Creus. All RDA. right, yeah, yeah. Top airflow. Um, as usual, the uh, recurve squad cart with the goat on top, and in that some blue slush. What's that goat like? Is it? It's odd. I, I like it. it. Yeah, I really do like it. And as we as I move off that pint pot that I just knocked on the floor, <laughs> so the dogs are drinking. Uh, I'm still on the old banshee with the L beast on, with that. Um, What's it called? The banshee. The cigar banshee. I thought you said a banshee. No banshee. You know. The, the Irish woman at owls and what have you. Oh. Some of that juicy nerd stuff in that. That's all right. I've got the tower block as normal because that's out every day with the FP on top. And I've got some green slush in this one. Bit of green slush. Not finished. Um, I've got the V-Boy out. And on top of that, I've got the hot rod for our guest for next week. Got a few points about this. I need clearing up from him. Uh, now I've got some vanilla, <laughs> vanilla mocha. He's done this on purpose because he used to. Not finished. <clears throat> I've got me little Yuma Puff Acme that I did a review for the other day with its uh, tank. <laughs> and in that, I've got some. Just and where can you find mocha. that review? You can find that review on the Salford Vapor channel, along with about 240-odd other reviews and live streams, and get over there and subscribe, because I'll just put myself out there, and I don't care. And uh, I thought I'd give Simon a break, and I haven't gone through everything else. I, d I didn't put any of the mechs up or anything, so I thought I'd uh, just leave it at that for Simon to for today. What's, what's your, sorry, what was your channel, Salford? I need to go and subscribe. I haven't subscribed yet. It's the Salford Vapor. Do you want to meet, do it in a long fashion? Uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, if, we, if we'd have got Nightbot with it, we'd have gone up slash the Salford Vapor. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> go on, Aiden, what are you vaping on, mate? No, 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 we'll go straight over to our special guest, but I'll tell you what, Nightbot is not working because uh, I've, I've got it up and it's just not working. Right, well, while well, you've got it up then, to click it to come off the channel and then click it to come back on. Well, so we'll go straight over to the one and only Flat Cap Vapor. What are you vaping on, brother? I'm, I'm not going to bother. These two are on enough, enough for <laughs> all of us, aren't they? <laughs> no, I'm on um, 
you dropped dead RDA on my Ages Legend, and I've got a bit of Dark Stars Code Red, which is what I'm on all the time. Um, I'm testing this out at the minute, the Profile Unity RTA. I've got that on the Jackaroo. And I've got a bit of... Oh, no, I've got Code Red in that again. And then I'm on my Coil Up Mage Mech with a Drop Dead RDA, and I'm trying out this... I've had it for a while. It's like a sugar daddy. It's like a blue raspberry jam donut. What? Sounds like it just it just tastes like jam, but yes, yeah, it's all right. Sorry, and that's it blue, really. Blue raspberry. That's it. You say blueberry. Blue raspberry. Let me check. It's blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah, absolutely. Blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah. Blueberry. And that's it for me. That's how to do it, Salford. Yeah, no missing around. I was only going to hold on, hold on. I was only going to do a couple, but I knew you'd come on and have loads. <laughs> so I thought that's it. Shall I empty my cupboards or not? <laughs> <laughs> do, do I have to press a name? It all says disable, but I'm not doing that. Obviously, I've done I've done join channel. Let's see what happens now. See if it all pops up here. Yeah, I, um, it depends on how many lines come up before you get the first one in. How many lines you got set for? Well, we had two. We had uh, every ten minutes, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. If not, we'll just roll it and see what happens. It'll yeah. work. Um, right then, what's little bro vaping on today, people? We have got some Moorish puff, puff uh, raspberry, no, and no, no, no. I, I've got the um, the wasp nano with the veep soul. I dragged that out. I love this mod. It's going on for at least a year and a bit since yeah, I reviewed it. Um, you can actually uh, find your phone by Bluetooth and you can find the mod. Why you'd want that anyway, but you've got it. I'm starting to do what you're doing. I don't have to vape on it, do I, while well, I'm telling you what it is. Um, then also I've got the Moorish Puff Popcorn Sweet, which is quite nice. And I've got that on the Rinko um, Mantra X with the other um, Wasp Aiden, Nano. Aiden, yeah. Aiden do, you think the, do you think the popcorn in the Moorish Puff Popcorn tastes like popcorn? Or do you find it's a bit... No, what it tastes I don't like, it tastes movie. like burnt kernels. Yeah, that's what I was finding. Yeah. It's, it's got an odd, an odd yeah, flavor. Yeah, so you've, you've got like a burnt toast sort of um, taste to it. Mm. And then whatever tastes behind it. So if it's a raspberry or if it's a sweet, it's got like that sort of sweet taste. Or we've got the um, salted caramel and the peanut. You're just getting that on it with that sort of like burnt... Mm kernel sort of taste. If you've ever done popcorn in the microwave and you know you got them bits at the bottom that you scrape up I don't. try not to get them little tiny bits that haven't actually popped and you break your teeth and stuff. That's what it's quite like. Uh, the Phantom with the um, Frosty Chew from TMB Notes. I'm on the, the back end of that. My trusty uh, Tyro or Tyro, whichever you want to call it, from Vaptio, which is really nice with some cheap ass hang scent menthol in it, just because I like the taste. Mm -hmm. Then I've got the um, from I like Vapormon. That. I love the look of this one. It is such I a nice like little that. mod, mm. and it fits the um, the gate on it absolutely wonderful. I've not played around with the... Did you actually get different cylinders with it then? Um, no, no, you've got um, an Allen key at the top. You unscrew it from the bottom, the 510, flat out, and there's an Allen key at the top, and it adjusts the jet of air that's going up to the coil. So you I've can either have that a 0.8 or a 1.2? What, coil? No, the actual um, airflow, you can either have oh, it right, or not. No, it's, it's, just a, it's just a jet that you can move. If you imagine there's a cylinder and you've got... Uh, another cylinder inside you can move up and down. That's all it does basically. But the, the, the way they were talking the was coil. in that cylinder that it goes from a, a 0 0.8 mil to a 1.2 mil. No, it doesn't have any any difference in size. If you have a little look on um, on I, Google, I, put, I pulled it up and it's just been the same. Yeah, I ain't even played with it yet. I've, I've had it wide open like. Um, uh, but, well, the air comes it. in at the side. Of it, you've got two big oval cutouts on the side, and then you've just got the jet that adjusts either up or down near yeah. the coil or further away. Didn't make any difference, really, to me. Yeah, he's, I, I still like it though. Lovely oh, master. Yeah, I, like I like the tank. Yeah. Nice flavour. Yeah, decent. Very flavor. nice flavour. It's got, it's got a, a bit of a true tank ring to it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I thought, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get used to, you know, that you undo the ring at the top. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know be able to get 
it that reminds me of the uh, skyline, very much like the skyline. Uh, but it, honestly, it, it's never bothered me at all, hasn't that little? Because you, 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 it, it takes you a lot longer to empty the tank than it does. So I'm not, I'm not bothered, and I only use it in the house as well. So what we'll do is, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just have a little bit of shout out to people who are in chat. We have got the one and only Salfa Vapor. Nice to have you here, brother. The Bobster. We've got Kev K. Nice to see you, brother. Ian Morgan, my one and only. Orion Brasons. Alan, big love, bro. Um, we have got the Flat Cat Vapor. Nice to see you. Um, Horsham hey. Heating. <laughs> nice to see you, brother. Peter. Vaping with TC. We've also got uh, Vapor. Uh, Simon, Mr. Coyley. The Lethal Coils. Nice to see you, brother. Um, what else have we got? Chris Doyle, always nice to see you. UK Andy, Zan, big love Zan, big hugs to you, brother. Um, we have also got Chris Doyle, big love, bro. Um, we've got Mush the Snowman. We have got um, who else? We got the Vaping Scotsman. I love saying his name. Saint Cunty McFuck off. I just love saying that name. The Vaping <laughs> Scotsman. MF, big love, bro. Hope you're okay. Um, we, who else have we got? We have got... Sorry, Hip -hop juice. Down. Red Beard Vapors. Um, we have got... I've gone from the top. We've got Eat My BB. Nice to see you, brother. Hip Hop Juice. Nice to see you, brother. Hope you're okay. Um, I'm getting worse like a DJ or something. We're doing really well. Thank you very much. Bill Richards, we can't, can't forget Bill. Bill Richards. Um, right. Bill Richards, Bill Richards yes. The one and only Bill Richards as well. Nice to see you all here. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do is before we get on to our special guest, we've got the flat cap vapor. We're going to talk about how we started out reviewing and vaping, but we're going to go to the news first. So uh, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do the vape shops or do you want to do the... Um... All right, let's do the, uh, let's do the vape shop. I've lost my mouse. Hang on a second. My mouse has disappeared. Right? No, it's disappeared. If you want all of his mouth, but mouse, what was he old of? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Oh, my computer's just gone. One sec, right. Right, Got so we're doing there. the vape shops then, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, the vape shop's up, brother. <clears throat> so, uh, and the reason that I... Oh, uh, uh, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the, the reason I picked this one is because it's all about... My, my big uh, thing that I really hate is, is the... <laughs> Is the is the miss the the the, the mis oh, oh, oh god you're putting me off <laughs> the, the um the lack of consistency uh, about the message around around vaping so it says uh, Chichester <laughs> Chichester will be known for coffee shops and vaping react and uh, coffee shops and vaping reaction to new in wow. new store. In city centre, mm -hmm. if everybody could see what's going on while I'm trying to read this news, well, I've they're all so polite. There's nothing we're happening. We're, nice we're back normal. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, news that a vaping shop will open will be opening up in Chester has proved unpopular <laughs> with some observer readers. Uh, every cloud vape shop will move into premises in the cathedral courtyard on Saturday, March the 16th. The 16th, the owners have announced, sharing their thoughts on social media. Some readers of the Observer were not too happy about the announcement. Nikki Louise Jones said there is already a few. Chichester is going to be known for coffee shops and vaping. It's getting pathetic now. Adrian Marden said that if there is enough demand, it will succeed. Just amazes me. They have. They think. They think they help people quit smoking. Lots of vapors seem to, seem too young to have this. To say this is a newspaper website, the grammar in this is horrendous. Um, lots of vapors seem too young to have ever smoked real cigarettes. Uh, many comments also joked whether the shop will be selling coffee too. Ian Jessup said another aren't there three already. I'm concerned about the long-term effects of vaping since you are putting a chemical and flavouring into your lungs and no long-term trials have been conducted. Remember that 60 plus years ago cigarettes were recommended for those suffering with coughs. Chris Jenkinson said, wow, how exciting not. What is the next headline going to be? Is it a shop? It, it is a shop better than an empty shop, but seriously, how long will it last? So it really, 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 really ground my gears did that. Mm. So, so, so the first point we're going to get here is the, the the first thing that comes out all the time is about stubbies, um, which I've, I've sort of got to I've got to sort of agree with them, in a, in a sort of a way. Obviously, we've had it from what two thousand and six, maybe a little bit before. You can, you can't tell what long term is going to happen to it, but well, the the actual results that we've had from a hell of a lot of people, and it's just come out as well today about uh, secondary uh, vapor. 
not being so um, not being harmful at all. There's nothing there. Um, I think you need to take what's already there. And yeah, run but with there, it. there has been a long term. Uh, there has been a long term test, haven't there? They, they have done that. There's something printed last month from a test that'll be going over five years. Yeah, but that's not. I think long there's quite term, a few out. It, really? Yeah, I think there's quite a few out this year that they started in like 2014. So I think there's. I read somewhere there's quite a lot of different. Yeah. Reports coming out. So well, obviously, we don't know. It's going to be in. like in thirty years' time. If you've been vaping thirty years, I won't be here then. But if you've been vaping thirty years, for thirty years, we don't know what it's going to be like. They're ongoing you, tests, aren't they? And, th- that, that's what I'm sort of saying. It's, it's long term of, of of like ten, fifteen, twenty years. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's what about the, the that they'll come up with something's bad for you in a matter. It's like bacon. How long have people been eating bacon? All of a sudden, right. however many hundreds of years later that we're, we're eating bacon, oh, bacon and processed meats cause cancer. Well, you know? the, the, the other one today um, in Sky News on your on your app, if you go and look, that drinking tea too hot gives you ninety percent more chance of getting cancer. Well, uh, they say everything. Mean, how stupid is that? And they're actually printing the shit. Everything. I mean. When I was a kid, it was go to work on an egg. In the eighties, it was all stop eating eggs and so on cholesterol. Yeah, this is it. It's, it. For me, you do what's right now. And maybe they did say smoking was good for a cough. I don't know whether that's true or not. But um, you know, you, you've got to go what's right for now. And the scientists now, you know, the, the, people keep sort of going on about this thing. Oh, people said that smoking was good for you. But the science that we have now, the technology that we have now, is able to you know, study these things better than they've ever been able to do in the past. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're really worried about that, you'd never eat or drink anything, would you? Or do no. anything. No, exactly. Absolutely bonkers. You've got to think, nothing should be put into your body. <laughs> That's what all the girls say. Should do. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Apart from muff. Um, you shouldn't have anything in your body in in such ways of like smoke and stuff. You're not built for it. You're not supposed to have it. Nicotine, you're not supposed to have. But the stimulants that people used to have in jungles and bits and bobs where we ever come from, or um, obviously I didn't mean jungle in that sort of way. But you know, like if you're in the forest or stuff, you should, you were taking sort of stimulants way before. Hallucinogenics, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> find the mushrooms. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's one of these things. But why wouldn't they want the high street with a store in it? Well, this is it. It's it's it's, it's, it's snobbery. It. Where, whereabouts is Chichester? At my geography, it's shocking. I tell you what, if I were drunk, I could never tell you I were there from from it. You know what I mean? Where are you from? Chichester. 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 I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm down there near me, mum. <laughs> but yeah, the, the biggest high street sort of stuff nowadays is um, hairdressers, nail bars, and takeaways. Uh, we haven't seen uh, them. Uh, pound, shop, pound shops and card shops. So the best thing about it, we're, we're all skint, we've got long hair, and we're all fat. <laughs> that's high street. And that's nowadays. just me, yeah. <laughs> I think it's good to get in the bricks and mortar stuff in there. Um, I'm not a big fan of mixing vaping with um, head stores, you know, like with bongs and stuff like that. Oh, I would yeah. rather no. them just mm, stick to nah. vaping. Yeah. yeah. But then, you know, your vape shops, a lot of them are, are, are like you did say, they're a, a social gathering place as well now. As well as it is, for me, going to the vape shop is like going to the pub. You can go and talk to people. You can, you know, you're all like minded together and, and it's, it's, it's a nice place to go. Yeah. Well, he's at the Vape Lounge in Liverpool. He has cakes and coffee and uh, places to sit and all that lot in his his shops. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's, it's 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 just it's a nice time. And I'll I'll go up on a weekend usually to my local vape shop and I'll, I'll sit in there and chat away. And it's just it's it's a really nice atmosphere. Would well, you not remember um, we had a similar thing? People moaning about cyber cafes when they was popular. About taking up the shops, so all these cyber cafes have started up. I'm too young to remember those sort of. What, what was that, Simon? I said I'm too young to remember those sort <laughs> You didn't wish. I don't know about you, guys, uh, flat cap. I don't know about you, mate. Um, you know, sometimes when you've actually gone into these vape shops and you've got these people such as Simon and that all sat around laughing and joking, it can be a little bit. Um, 
intimidating. You know, if you're looking in for, say, an RDA or oh. something like that, you know, when they all come in, do you find it a little bit intimidating? Or well, I think maybe for uh, for someone trying to get into vaping, it could be a bit, you know, a bit much, a bit intimidating. Um, uh, plenty of shops I've walked into, and um, we've said it plenty of times that he, they've all they've all got the mates, they've got that click. Yeah, mm. and you, you feel a little bit intimidated when you walk in. It's not so bad for you, Simon. You're six foot four. That's yeah, what no, I was but... going to say. You would do if you went in the, sh in the shop and Simon was stood there, wouldn't you? You know, it's there's, there's like this misconception about vapors as well, that they're all, all big blokes with great big beards and long hair and, you know, which, which is... Yeah, that's just Bill Richard. Yeah. I'm just a <laughs> stereotypical vapor, as you can see. <coughs> but yeah, no, I, I find it sometimes. I've been into vape shops. Power to my earphones. Hold on. He's lost his earphones. Are we yeah. back? Are we back? Um, we've got trouble. NASA, are we back? Are we back? <laughs> Hello. I'll just just move on to the emergency. Yeah, funny, yeah. Will you? He's on to the emergency. <laughs> How dare me. you diss the beard, Mr. Back? Coily? What have I missed? <laughs> somebody, somebody just said, I knew this Bluetooth thing was a bad idea. Jimmy, Jimmy Wright just said, <laughs> in, Jimmy Wright's just said in, in chat, Flap Cap is a giant man. He's about six foot seven. Are you six foot seven? He's a nice man. No, I've lost you again. <laughs> we've well got the wonderful devil vapor in as well lovely to see you bro yeah sorry dean i wasn't i wasn't i've, I've got a beard as well I, 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 I wish, and you I, have i wish i could do the poet poem sort of stuff what he does he's absolutely fantastic on the uh uk vape show um i love that bit and it's one bit that i wait for to to watch because yeah. he is absolutely brilliant at reading them and also picking them up and he also i'm not going to mention what the poem was but he did one privately to us which was absolutely funny as anything um so yeah big love to you dino love you loads mate um but yeah the best actor of 2018 as well he got a penis award who did he did yeah have you not seen his penis no wooden penis. his wooden penis looks absolutely fantastic how have i missed that yeah, you need to go and check the wooden penis. Now to ask the question, have you seen it up close, Aiden? Um, well, when we went to Jam, we were pretty close, but not that close. <laughs> not close same, enough to touch it anyway. No same, splinters then. No. Same, same, same cunty Mac fuck off. That's charming, that really is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm back. Well, so at the beginning of the show. Are those ones working, bro? Are they working? Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry, that was only calling you. I mean, we was only talking about you. <laughs> He's back oh, in. But yeah, the thing about, uh, obviously, we, we vape shops, if they don't understand it, do you think the Observer in Chichford, or whatever it is? Chichester. 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 Is, um, do you think the editor has got something um, against vaping? I don't know if it's the editor, but obviously the the people in Chichester itself have got something against vaping. But again, it's it's like I said, it's the same, um, it's the same same thing. It's this it's this mis misunderstanding about vaping. It's that they don't know what it is. They don't know enough about it. And nobody, but nobody seems to be going. Out. Every everybody that vapes, everybody that watches vape shows, knows about vaping, knows everything about it. But nobody else is communicating it out apart from. You know, the NHS it's being promoted as a as a way to, to stop smoking. But again, I still don't think there's enough um, enough communication out to, to tell well, people. There's not the, enough public truth. information, is there no. out there? It's it's the same thing I get sick of every day of oh, uh, vaping causes you know my mother sends me uh, messages. Oh, I've just seen this on Facebook, vaping causes popcorn lung, vaping causes this, vaping causes that. If we, if we go back to last week's show with the news that you brought about um, the NHS, though, um, about 55% of them are actually banning people from vaping yeah. outside yeah. of the actual hospital. It, again, it just shows you there's different opinions um, because obviously they're run like a business like anything else now, the, the NHS. Um, if one, one group thinks that vaping shouldn't be done there, they have to go out the ground. One group says it's okay and one group says it isn't. There should be just one actual... Um, message all the way down the line. There was something on the TV the other day. I, I was watching it. It was about medicinal mar marijuana, 
and there was some some kids uh, there was one girl on there who suffered from was it epileptic fits I think she has 300 epileptic fits every day uh, on average oh. and medicinal marijuana would would cure that uh, but 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 what they were saying is the the I can't believe they had some representative I don't know it was from the NHS or, or one of the sort of health bodies saying that we can give directives to clinicians doctors GPS whatever as much as we like but ultimately the decision remains with them if yeah. that clinician does not want to prescribe that particular drug for that particular person because they think it's in their interest that's their choice it doesn't matter what we say all we're giving is guidelines what we also have to remember if it's a GP they're getting paid for pushing certain drugs as well you know they go oh, yeah. the money yeah, yeah. Yeah. They go where the money is yeah. Just to, um, uh, just somebody in chat, um, Kai Wilson, and also I just want to say thank you very much to all the moderators for everything you're doing on there, Ryan, everybody, thank you so much for, for welcoming and everybody in. Um, just, um, it was Kai Wilson, They um, anything you do can kill you. Um, yeah. I drive a bus, I bet the fumes I sit in all day will kill me. There you go. It's yeah, one of the exactly. biggest things, you walk outside... And you imagine, I, I live just off a of main main road, and it's like the A19, and and, and it, you imagine half the crap that's coming out of them trucks, the cars, and everything else that you're breathing in. Is he talking about fumes while he's on the bus, or is this like when he's at home? <laughs> Devil vapor. My doctor <laughs> actually pushes me crack. Yeah, I've seen that. Fuck off, Dino. You'd be more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with your doctor, mate. <laughs> I give him the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but, go on, uh, uh, flat cap. Sorry, mate. No, I'm. I'm. That's it. No, but the fumes. Exactly what you're saying. The fumes. The, the, any anyway, on, on every day where he's walking around is 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 going to be a lot worse than what you're vaping. Yeah. How many times you stood edge. next to a bus and you've had that? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. But but. Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't know why that's gone off. Salford, how dare you? How oh, very dare you? Well, it's the same with like mobile phones. And they haven't been out that long, really. We don't know the, the real long-term effects of mobile phones yet. Everyone's everyone's got one. Yeah. There's all that thing. Was all like, of your head. There's all that thing going around. Mobile phones give you brain cancer. I wonder if you if you have them too close to your head, they're they're going to kill you and. It's, 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 it's like I said, they seem to want to communicate, the government seem to want to communicate some stuff out as much as they possibly can. Other stuff, they don't seem to want to, well, I'm saying the government, but the bodies that, that are responsible for these things just don't want oh, to. Don't set me off on this conspiracy stuff, because it is George <laughs> Orwell 1984, isn't it? I'll tell you, if you can't see what's happening to, to us, it's, um, you're blind. The amount of the way the media is controlled and everything that we're, we're doing is just um, really bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the the the, the propaganda as well that's pushed by the media. You know, you look at the Daily Mail. Dean's just said it. Devil Vapor. If you read the Daily Mail, everything gives you cancer. That's just a, exactly what I was going to say. You know, worst offenders: the Daily Mail, the Sun. One day the Sun's, you know, saying e cigs are good for you, and then the next minute it's oh, it's the, the Sun. When you when you read their articles, they they come out with these good news vape articles. Uh, you know, uh, vaping is good because it does this, and then underneath that, they have another section which says, "But this is what can happen." And they just it winds me right song. up. I don't, but it's just if I see something that that somebody's posted or whatever. It's fine. So apparently, flat cap, you are a lucky light like David Beckham. <laughs> Dean's obviously on a wind up tonight. No, Dean's also <laughs> stroking the um, the, the, the phallus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a purely on a wind up definitely I love it when he's on a wind up though <laughs> that's what it's about that's what he's about he's a good kid good just one. just MF Fapes is so does masturbation no, I don't know about that MF mm, what's that I don't know what that word is no, 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 no expand no, no, no. on that <laughs> expand it that's what he does when he rubs it <laughs> I've answered my own question are you married yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, married. you should know what masturbation is. <laughs> the other one's a new dress. Um, <laughs> right, the other other one is is that in San Francisco... Do you remember that one? Yeah. Uh, San Francisco moves to ban e-cigarettes until health effects known. 
Uh, I won't go on for ages with this one. Uh, officials in San Francisco have proposed a new law to ban e-cigarette sales until their health effects are evaluated by the U.S. government. Uh, the law appears to be the first of its kind in the U.S. and seeks to curb the rising usage by young people. I get absolutely sick of this excuse. It's all about young people. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Uh, critics, however, say it will make it harder for people to keep the addiction. The second city law would make was bar making, selling, or distributing tobacco on city property and is aimed at an e-cigarette firm renting on Pier 70. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, a second city law would make selling or distributing tobacco on city property. Uh, lastly, the Food, the Food and Drug Administration, the national regulator, released its proposal, proposed guidelines giving companies until 2021 to have, to have their e-cigarettes products evaluated. Uh, a deadline initially been set for August 2018, but the NC led said more preparation time was needed. Now, obviously, San Francisco was the f one of the first to ban smoking completely outside, wasn't it, or, or, or in public places? I don't know. I think people might be able to tell me in chat. I don't know if you know Flat Cap. I think it was one of the first places to stop smoking completely. Um, do you think they've spent the budget? Do you think they've uh, they've, they've spent three or four years in front of what they thought they were going to get from cigarettes? Or I don't know. You, you would think because there's another story somewhere going doing the rounds about uh, President Trump wanting to put a, a fee, isn't he, on um, yeah, cigarettes as well? Yeah. So it it's, it seems contradictory that that. You know, the, 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 you've got one person say we're going to put a fee on it, then you've got another another state saying or another city or whatever saying that we know we're going to ban it. It just seems completely, the, 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 you know, sort of one story then another story. And, and I, I honestly feel sorry for the for the Americans that you, you don't know where you stand from one minute to the next. It must be so complex. It's the same in Australia, isn't it? Going across different states, different states have different laws. Absolutely bonkers. Crazy. For them to completely and utterly say we're going to ban it completely now we talk about this all the time they're the land of the free it's a democracy <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, we yeah. send millions and millions free of world. troops to different countries to to um, liberate them hmm. and then all of a sudden we're now going to tell you that you can't vape yeah. but we'll but let ICOS and all the other bits and big tobacco do whatever they want to do why, would you, why would you want just say if kids are vaping now you're always going to have, like we've always spoke, kids are going to try stuff, whether it's drugs, alcohol, or whether it's um, vaping or smoking, whatever. They're going to try it. All of them did it. The numbers are way down from what it was years and years ago, from when I were a kid and when you were a kid, when Jesus were here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that that time. No. My apologies, guys. talking to you. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. Aiden is tech land and free. Yeah. Free to what I tell you. Yeah, exactly. In, land of freedom doesn't exist anymore. Nowhere does. No freedom of speech even in this country now. You try it, I'd park corner. Sorry? I said you've no freedom of speech here in this country now. Try it at Hyde Park Corner. Yeah, you see, I don't think it was Hyde Park Corner where it's cut the bench or something. No, um, where they used to stand up and all talk. Hyde Park Corner. I did watch something the other day, um, which was, um, I don't know it's completely gone off of vaping, but um, there was a bloke from the Catholic Church, he was stood up on a great big um, box, that's what I'm going to say what it is, box, and he was preaching the gospel of, of whatever it is, whatever church he was from, and which I've seen them all the time, for years and years, um, they, they stand there and you walk past thinking, please don't give me a leaflet, please don't give me a leaflet, it's a bit like Expo, and um, but the police actually moved him. Yeah, quite a few have been arrested, um, Christian ones that are not being racist there, um, saying that they're causing a disturbance. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe they actually moved him, because the, the, the old bloke, I must have known since I was, I've not gone up and smoked to Miro, but I've seen him since I must have been about six years old, and he's always gone there every, say every Friday or something like that, and then they moved him, it, it, was, it was quite strange to see that happen. No, well, I'll tell you what, we've talked about the news a lot, and I think it's about time we've got something a little bit lighter, don't we think, lads? Before, before we do that, Ed, are yep. we doing what we said we were going to do, because we haven't said anything about it yet? Which bit? Oh, what, the giveaway? Yeah. <laughs> well, it he doesn't seem to be working, but we'll try it. Should we do the we'll first do it again. giveaway? 
I'll, th I'll think of a quick no. We'll... I can't understand why Nightbot's not working on well, your can, channel. Can, we see if every, can everybody just put flat cap? There's a giveaway. Can everybody just tell them what it is? <laughs> yeah, it's, you don't win a flat cap. <laughs> no, you don't win a flat cap. So can no one's going to What I put in, which is. Is that. If you can put flat cap in, if that doesn't work, we'll come up with some other, other way of doing a giveaway. What we've got is we've got um, uh, we've got a starter kit which is now covered in wine because I knocked it in over. Um, is the SQ quick kit, and we have also got 300 ml of juice, which is the Moorish Puff sweet. Oh, I'm going to enter raspberry, okay. and then we have got 250 ml of the um, salted caramel. Also, to part of this uh, competition, please get yourself over to uh, flat cap and subscribe so if somebody one of his mods or simon or, or salford could just get his channel and just start spamming it as much as we can um, because we want to get him up to a few more subs than what he's got so please if you haven't gone over to flat caps please get over there and sub to the man he's an absolute corking reviewer some brilliant shots he knows what he's on about and he's a right nice kid as well no um, really so yeah <laughs> We've got, um, like I said, the S1 quick tip um, from <coughs> Steeped, and we've got 300 ml of juice, and I think you've got a bit of a giveaway as well, haven't you? Yeah, do you want me to say what it is now, or, or do you want me to wait till well, later? Well, tell what's coming up, if this, especially if this works. So, I have, of course, Ooh. a coily. Not a personalised one, but the new Masala colour, coily with mm. coily on it, on top. so there's coily as part of that. There is also a Thanks, Chris. brand new sealed Van de Vaart Bonza RDA 1.5. Leave me to it. In gun metal. There is also a pack of can of cotton. And there is also a tin of. I think there's. So bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Sammy, you've got a bit of red fluff on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that bit. The stuck to your Velcro. I've been uh, there, but you're Malaysian. Uh, <laughs> you're okay, Fluffer. Is it okay? <laughs> you're okay, Fluffy Fluffer. A tin of uh, Nature Vape um, three core parallel fused Clapton coils. So, so, so you have a. In, the, the first one is going to be the giveaway from me, which is 300 ml of juice and a starter kit. If you don't want the starter kit, give it to somebody um, to set them off. Put flat cap in there, and we will. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. And give people a chance. Give people a chance to do it now. Do, we're going to do it now. Well, I'll tell you what, before we, just, we do that, we've got plenty of time ish. Um, we're we're going to go straight over to Flat Cap. How did you start vaping, brother? Um, how did I start vaping? Uh, I did a newborn little boy uh, about four or five, well, five years ago. And uh, yeah, he was a couple of months old, and I was just I could just sick of the smell, sick of it. So I just went to a local vape shop, and I was well looked after. And 48 hours later, I was I binned everything, and I was vaping. So how was, long ago was that? Was about five years, yeah, four and a half, five years. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's yeah, a bit of willpower, but that's, that's how, how did you, what 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 was your first setup? It was a, I think it was an Ely for a Kanga Tech, a small little tiny little tank, tiny little kit. I don't know what happened to it really. I I wish I kept hold of it, but you know it's only since I got into this that I've kept hold of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember exactly what it was. I kind of moved up pretty quick with a lot of the e-leaf kit a couple of years ago, and kind of stayed at that for a while. Um, but yeah, that's. I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think what it was. What it was called? What the first thing I bought? I'm pretty sure it was Kanga Tech, one or the other. Some like Kanga Tech. <laughs> Definitely. So what, yeah. what sort of got you into the reviewing? Because how long you been doing that now? Not, not long. No, I've only been reviewing since the new year, really. Um, I before. Uh, way before Christmas, I wanted to get a mech mod. I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll just get something cheap because, you know, I, I knew what I was doing with Ohm's Law and whatnot. But I thought I'll just start on something cheap. So I bought a, I bought a, I bought this coil art, and um, I couldn't find many reviews out for it. And I, I thought, well, do you know what? I'll, I'll just do a review myself once I've got it. So I put this, it's still on my channel. I put this video review out of it, 
and thinking I was the best reviewer ever, I sent it to um, EC Click because they said on their website, oh, if you want to review, and I sent them this email saying, I'll oh, check out my video, you know, I'm happy to do reviews for you and this kind of thing. And to my amazement, they got in back in touch and said, oh, you know, well, send us a proper written review of, of something and then we'll go from there. And that's literally how it started. Next thing I know, they've, they started sending me bits. So it's kind of all just happened pretty quickly. Nice, but... nice people at EC Click. Um, oh, oh, unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, really looked think, after I think, me. I think Dino was at number four. I got number ten. You right. know Dino, Devil Vapor, he got number yeah. four and I got number ten. Yeah. So how long yeah, have you been nice people. How long have you been doing it? He was five. Dean, Dean was five. He was fifth, wasn't he, this year? Oh, he's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I, I only started reviewing in, um, I think my first video went out middle of January. Right. So, yeah, not, not very long. So, I'm kind of learning as I go, really. If you are yeah. watching this on the catch up, please just press that little button and make sure you go and give him a subscribe. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more, but I'm going to see if this first giveaway will work. What I'll do is I'll go into the Salford. If I go into the giveaways, yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry, I've lost chat. He's, he's, he's yeah, dead. just just disconnected, didn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's back up now. Right, so uh, keeps going away. I don't know why it keeps going away. I can't get it. It's all chat back. It's dead on me. Has that worked? Anything? I couldn't tell you because I've got no chat or anything, so I don't know if it's run it and shown it or anything. I can't see anything. Mine said it was disconnected, but then it connected again. Hold it. Mine's not connecting at all. Right, we're going to do it a different way then. It's not worked again. No bloody damn nightbot. Oh, I might, I might be disconnected. It might be working. <laughs> Can anybody in chat just say hi, just so we know that you're there? The last one I've got is double vapor. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. I've got, uh, we're still streaming, so yeah, we're still streaming without the chat. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know. If, 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 if it's like we lost chat. <laughs> wow, what a time for the chat to go with. Draw. <laughs> I've just I've just tried typing in chat and it says error. Try again. Oh dear, it's got it's out of YouTube then, isn't it? It's not uh, out of stream. Sorry, something went wrong. So what do we do? I reloading the page. I've done that four times up to now. Are we still streaming? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're still streaming. We've just lost chat. Right, people. Um, we've got obviously got a problem with chat. There's something not right. Um, can we restart the stream? We can do, but we're like um, 52 minutes into it. Um, <clears throat> do we want to do it on the Facebook page? Oh, right, it's working. It's working. Yours is back, is it? Yeah. Keep that on. It's <laughs> mine's just come back as well. Hey, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I ain't got a clue what happened there. Oh, weird. Right, right, Aiden, in Nightbot, did it? Did it have everybody who entered in the keyword? Um, let me just go into. Where will that? No, unfortunately, chat. Embedded isn't available for your YouTube yet. Hey, that's not right. Something Which... wrong there because I I I've done my draws on it without any problem. Should we try I winner? You could do, but unless you've got something connected in there for it. If not, I know exactly what we're going to do. Oh, shit. I wanna. It's not there, is it? No, no, because you not got anything in the command. Okay, for... the first person who tells us how long Flat Cap has been vaping um, wins the first prize. I think that will work. It may do. Restart Nightbot and work again. Ryan's braces, I think, was the first. 
Yep. Is that right? We're restarting now, but but obviously, yeah, that's the winner. So is is Ryan Brace is the first winner? <laughs> Ryan's braces was the first person to say yep. five years. Yep, five years. Well done, Ryan's. Right, we're joined. So, should we try for um, I winner commands? Which should, should, should that work or? We haven't got anything set up for it. I've been in commands. I don't think I can try it. Uh, Ryan's yeah. is piffing. Ryan's is piffing it as well. Yeah, right. Who was the second? Vapen uh, Scotsman. Yep. Vapen Scotsman. Active users. I think Orion's wants to piff it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be piffing all night. <coughs> piffed. He's a bit piffed. Yeah. So, um, Mush the Snowman. No, who's got it? Uh, Vapen Scotsman. I think. Vape and Scotsman, yeah. Yeah. With the second correct answer. We will get Nightbot working. It's just <clears> one of them things we've tried. And for some unfound reason, it does not like me. No, it doesn't. I'm going to think of a question for my one. Well, do you think we should do something that people put on um, your um, on our Facebook page? Trouble is, there won't be a lot of people uh, people on at the moment. I, I th I'll think of a question when it's ready for my, for today. My my giveaway. I'll think of a, a, yeah, a, a numeric yeah. question. Guys in chat, if you haven't been and uh, like the page, go on to the uh, the three men in a vape page and give it a like, and also and join the uh, join the three, three, three men group. So flat cap, what what do you see your channel moving into? I tell you, what, you've got some brilliant camera work. I'm loving your your up and closey bits. I'm loving the oh, way thanks, you've buddy. shown the products, and I tell you what, your camera sharpness is absolutely fantastic. Um, how did you get sort of like get around to it? I love your background as well. Well, you do know I'm in my garage, right? <laughs> you I'm, in a, I'm in a damp, I'm in a damp, cold garage. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just using a camcorder and the webcam really, and just trying to do the best I can with it. Um, you know, you got. The, like all of us, really, just trying to make it look appealing and, and show people a thing or two, I suppose. So but is the that hardest... your scooter behind you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm a bit of a scooter boy. It's a modern one, but I've had Vespas and stuff in the past. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the hard bit for me in, in the whole reviewing thing is the, like the the knowledge you guys have got on some of the older a lot of the stuff that come out, you know, before now. I just, I you know, I've always been into vaping and that kind of thing, but I've never really you know, kept tabs on everything that's coming out. So some of the reviews people are talking about, oh, this drip tip, oh, it's similar to one to a device that came out three years ago. I'm like, oh, man, I've got so much to learn. <laughs> I've got so much to learn. But, you know, taking each day as it comes, I suppose. Right. Did you follow a lot of shows then? What, what did you watch? Or... Um, Who I kind the of... reviewers that you watched? Well, to be honest, I was a bit of a silent watcher. I kind of... Dropped in and out of different reviewers, watching whatever I was interested in. I was more watching if I was interested in a, in a a mod, I'll right. I'll search on YouTube and I'll just click on whatever one I fancied. So, you know, when I eventually kind of got into the reviewing thing, I was I was watching reviews from him and I was going, oh, oh, I remember seeing one of his videos before, you know. So I never really kept tabs on who was who and you know what was what, but um, it kind of come to light when I got into reviewing myself. So, yeah. Are you thinking but, about coming to Expo? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to Expo on the Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Absolutely can't wait. Brilliant. I said, uh, I said uh, to my wife, I said, because I don't have many friends that are vapors, and I, I said to my wife, and I've got tickets, and um, oh, I've got, I've got tickets for a vape Expo in May. I said, I don't know who to invite. And she went, now she doesn't vape, she doesn't smoke, nothing like that. She's not interested. Every time I talk about vaping, she rolls her eyes, bless her. And uh, she's like, oh, I'll go. She's like, it's a day away from the kids. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, she's coming along with me. She's looking forward to it as well. So, yeah, can't wait. Well, all of us will be there. Make sure you come and uh, grab oh, all of us. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be okay. great. Uh, just to uh, Vaping Scotsman, if you um, message Little Bro Vapes, um, 
if you go onto one of my videos which you've been on before, just find the, the email, <laughs> send me your address and I'll get it out this Tuesday. See you, mate. Um, Bob Stone, I think you're wrong there. I think more more the sound and the looks of James Blunt. <laughs> James Blunt? I mean, a lot of David Beckham comments. <laughs> <coughs> no, you talk properly. Could be worse. <laughs> you, could, you could look like Where's Wally. Yeah. <laughs> No, we've already got someone that does that. We've got the, yeah, the, Christian the, Bale. Yeah, I can Christian see that Bale. Right. So, um, where, where do you feel that your channel's going to go? Are you going to do any oh, lives, yeah. or are you going to do out, or? Yeah, I hope so. I've got ideas, but I mean, it's still it's still really early days. Like I say, I'm still kind of learning on the job, so um, I'm just I'm just trying to take it real naturally, and just let yeah. things progress progress naturally. You know, I'm not trying to push things too hard. But I'm quite excitable. I get excited about something, and then I I go in hard on it. So you know, it's this. I have to try and take a step back sometimes. Go well, one step at a time, guys. You know. So yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I'm just trying to enjoy it. A lot, I'm not uh, put pressure on myself. The, the way I sort of got into it was um, I did a hell of a lot of juice reviews. That's how you got into it. Um, yeah. Nowadays, there's just like loads of reviewers there, where there wasn't loads of reviewers when I first come in. Um, mm. Or, or my, my brother, you know what I mean? When he first started, there were even less. Um, and I, you started off with like juice reviews, and then you went into the hardware. Uh, yeah. And that's how you, how you got into it. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's what I mean. I've been really lucky that EC Click started sending me bits. I've always, I'd, I'd be, in that, you know, I'd be doing exactly that juice review after juice review, you know. But, yeah, well, you, they kind you, of got me going. We still, we still bought stuff. You know what I mean? You yeah, yeah, buy yeah. the stuff and you, you, you review it. You, uh, the, the, the format was, when I first started, was like you did three reviews or two reviews a week, two, three re reviews a week, and you yeah. did them religiously. Now it's all changed a little bit for me. I do, I do it whenever I can fit it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how it, how, how it works. It's um, But it it's fun, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, no, I'm enjoying it. Really enjoying I'll tell you it. what, when you get get involved in the community, when, when you turn up in um, in in May, mate, you're just gonna love it. Mm. It's gonna be. Is it your first expo? Yeah, first expo. Yeah, yeah. And then you're right about the, that's that's the thing that's kind of uh, surprised me the most. Is like I said before, I never I never really used to be involved with chat or anything. I'll just watch a couple of reviews, and and kind of getting into the community and the, the way people are. I was just I was surprised. I had a I said recently about other reviewers, you know, like yourselves, kind of welcoming me in and you know supporting me. And I thought it was going to be quite competitive, which I, you know, it, it, gets com cases, but... it never used to be competitive, but mm. it, nowadays it is a little bit competitive. Every yeah. every years ago, every every reviewer you sell for everybody else else out. Now it's got mm. a little bit more competitive. But yeah. um, the, the the thing is, is when you turn up, you know, like me, Mark, and Dino's been in there, uh, Vic, all the lads, uh, Chris, th mm. they're exactly the same. They're all lovely blokes, and you, you, you'd be welcomed in, mate, honestly. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It's a good no, giggle cool. as well. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Well, one thing that does wind me up is people, like, if you're reviewing products for whoever, and so, you know, you give them a mention, and people go, oh, I'll sell out, they're just, you're just trying to get stuff off of them, you, you know, you're just sucking up to this company, that company. It's like, well, no, I'm, I'm just, they're sending me something, which, and I'm reviewing yeah. it. That, that's as simple as it is. You know, that, that's the only, that's the only, We've the only thing Dino I've noticed. We've got Dino in chat, he deals with really well, and he's, he's really good at stuff like that, and he, I think he had it on Twitter. Oh, he is brilliant about, on Twitter, yeah. I think somebody were uh, trying to slag him off about what he'd got and what he hadn't got. <laughs> Now, Jimmy when Dino mate. first ever started, he bought a lot of his own stuff and he did his bits. Now, if people send it, he's there to review it. And he's banging mm. out the same as Vic. Um, I won't say TVP because he doesn't bang them out that often now. <laughs> One well, joking, bro. Um, he's had he like two in, a, two, in brother, two days, though. banging them out all the time. Mm. What's that done? <laughs> that's, that's, that's just finished. <clears throat> Do you make a that normally? A, a Corey is born. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got uh, Jay Stocksbridge in. The wonderful... I've got his stuff here as well. I want to say a big thank you. Big package. You've, all, you've got some as well, Dieter Salford. No, I, I don't Ooh. get... Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, I did. Yeah, James, I did. Yeah, they're all here. I've got them to do. 
Yeah, I did. Uh, I did put it up on site. I have actually give two away to one of my friends who are massive custard fans. I have give two away to them. Um, right. See another one. MF. Um, they forget to realise how much time and effort it takes to make a review. And even yeah. if you don't like it, you've got to test it for a week or two. I had no MF, idea. <laughs> MF, you are totally, yeah. mate, I told you, you yeah. just hit the nail on the head. That's what I was trying to get out. And mm. they also don't realise that you sit in front of this camera and if, you, if your mouth's not working, especially yeah. when you talk as fast as I do, and you're trying to get everything out done, it doesn't always work. So you could maybe do, I could do 100 takes. And it might be the start of it. Me going, yo, yo, yo. Oh, fucking hell, why have you just said that that way? <laughs> so bang, I'm going to go yeah. again. And then, yeah. then you do it, and, and I do it a little bit different to you lot, because obviously you, you do the up and closey. I don't. I have to refilm it, because I can't do the up and closey. I have to refilm it to its side. Then I have to over imprint it on my actual review. And yeah. then you've got to push it out, and then you've got to spam it, put it wherever it needs to be. That could take three, four hours, five yeah. hours, maybe even more. Mm. And the it's people easy. don't realise that. It's easy for people to criticise when they don't actually sit there and do it. That, I always, I always forget stuff when I when I did, we all do. When we I did my Jackaroo review, I, I forgot to vape on the damn thing. <laughs> I, had to, I had to like cut it in the middle of the video. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing. We all forget to give some point of information. Yeah. That we've sat in front of us to make sure that we're gonna do. Yeah. We all we all do it. Me, me and Aiden do it often. MF, I tell you what, MF is one of one of the biggest ones you need to look at. Is mm. because the, the, he started off. He used to use his phone. That's what he used to use. Oh, really? So he won't like he had cameras and like how. Uh, I used to use a little camera uh, like a like you did, but a crappy one. Um, but MF started off on his phone. The majority of his stuff on his phone and and the quality that he got, absolute corking reviews. But yeah, it's hard work. Mm, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it takes so much of your time. And, and like my brother, it takes over your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because my brother goes to work and then he reviews. Yeah. That's that's why I, my, my juice reviews, I, I, I try and bash them out in less than three minutes. Because <laughs> it's just too stressful just editing otherwise. You know, eight months. Uh, you just saying that, MF. Eight months. Eight, eight months. Eight months. On phone. Well, phone. Wow. Yeah. yeah. To play. get his reviews out, and you got to think he was doing the up and closes with it, and then he was doing his straights as well. Yeah. That's the biggest yeah. thing. A lot of us have paid our dues. I, I didn't. I, I haven't got a lot of money. I'll tell you, it's it, the straight. I've got three kids, uh, four kids, and I've got a wife, and I've got a home and a family. I had to buy a computer. You have to buy your lights, your your stuff. You don't just get it given <clears> over <throat> six months. You no, know what I mean? No, you get. Right, you have yeah. to work for it, don't you, Salford? Yeah. Well, I'm what twenty months in, and I'm only just starting to get the odd item here and there. Mm. Mm. You know, it's, it's hard yeah. work. It is. But I'll tell you what, the hat's off to you, uh, or the flat cap off, to the <laughs> quality of your videos, mate. Oh, no, I appreciate that. No, I, yeah, I'm just, you know, like I said, I thought it would be really competitive when I come in. So I immediately thought, right, I need to set I need to set a standard for myself now. But obviously, I'm trying to learn how to review as well. So, yeah, it's been pretty intense. But no, I'm just trying to do the best I can and, and you know, you a lot can, of backing so. it. It's like Adam were backing you last week. Adam's an absolute fantastic bloke. Oh yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, obviously, I've spent a lot of time with him on Lost and Summer Vapes, and mm. um, he thinks the world of you. He thinks that you're a really good uh, yeah, reviewer. Yeah, lovely bloke. Yeah, no, he's a real nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Simon, any any questions? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't got any. I've enjoyed uh, enjoyed listening. Mm. I'm a good listener. Yeah, I know. Not <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, right. Salford? Hey. <laughs> what, what was that? What I love Ellen. Salford? No, Ellen's lovely. His wife's yeah. absolutely lovely. Well, if it weren't for Simon, I wouldn't be on this tonight. So thank you, Simon. Yeah, more than welcome. Good to have you on. Yeah, no, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. Um, Simon, what we're going to do about this giveaway? We're going to leave it so, till next week, or no, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, uh, I've got a question, and the first person to uh, answer the question right gets. I'll tell you again. <coughs> it is that once actual... again, people, if you you need to get over to Flat Cap and uh, support him. Yeah, come we'll give him a sub. He's a good reviewer. Yeah, thanks, guys. Masala Coily, new colour, just not personalised. Already branded Coily. Can of cotton, full pack of, sealed. Vandy Vape Bonzer, I'm RDA. Using, I'm using Canada in this today. 
You said you didn't oh, like bonza. it. Well, I'm giving it a try in different things. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Uh, bonza 1.5 RDA and a tin of uh, Nature Vape three core parallel fused Clamptons. Uh, there's about I think there's six other uh, six or eight coils in there. Just so. go back over what you've done because that was quite quick. Look at what you're going to get, people. Sala Coily. Brand new colour. Can of cotton, full pack and sealed. Bandy Vape, Bonza, RDA, sealed, 1.5. And a tin of Nature Vape, three core parallel fused Clapton coils, which I think is just six or eight, six or eight coils in the tin. So. Let's go. You've got to get over to Flat Cap and subscribe to him as well. What is the question? The question is, since I owned the online coily store, how many orders have I processed? And the number is between 1 and 100. This and we'll see how close people get. <laughs> right, so you want numbers to start coming up then, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'll send you a... So then, uh, Gaz, what there. do you do in your day, day life? What do you work as? I'm a, I'm an electrician. Oh, wicked! Ah. Yeah, I'm a director of an electrical company. I've got two business partners, and yeah, so I know all about Ames Law, which is probably why I'm I'm made for vaping. I think I think that's why I love it so yeah. much. I'm just made for it. It runs in my veins. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. A lot more than I would. I don't touch them. I call them bombs. Sorry. <laughs> all metal bombs are bombs. 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 Is that That's what I call them. I call them bombs. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. <laughs> what do you oh, no, I love it. it. No, it's the reason why. I, what happened? What we were going back a couple of Christmases back. We did a, a, a big show. Me and Mark. We uh, last the summer vape. It's not a big show, but one of our shows. Um, and we got into a great big argument. I'm sat there in a Santa suit, and it, it actually reminded me of that. What's that thing we? Um, Eddie Murphy and that other bloke. It's, it's like an eighties movie. <laughs> Trading places. Trading places. Yeah, and he sat yeah. down there trying to put the fish in, you know, when he's absolutely oh, pissed as fuck. <laughs> so I'd had a good beer, we're like proper like near Christmas Eve, and I'm like, bollocks. We're having an argument about mech mods. And what I'm saying to him is is that if somebody doesn't know Ohm's law, they don't nice. know battery safety, mm -hmm. and they get a mech mod, then yeah. it's a bomb. And my brother's going, No, it's not a bomb, it's their fault for not knowing. I'm saying, No, but it's still a bomb. Oh, it's, yeah, it's got massive potential to cause all. That's that's the that's the problem, and that's why vapors get stereotyped because the people out there buying these mechs not knowing what they're doing with them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big big problem. Big and it problem. goes back to bricks and mortar and stuff like people who don't know what yeah. they're actually selling to yeah. say, look, if you don't know what your ohms law is and you don't know what you're doing, I stay away from them. I, I yeah. stay to every every device I've got is regulated. Yeah. Even they can go but wrong. Basic ohms law is out there on. Every every bloody thing, you know, to learn basic Ohm's law is not hard. Only text a nick though, doesn't it? Yeah, battery safety is another thing. Yeah. I mean, we should yeah. all. If you have not noticed, whether, a whether nick. you use it, whether you're using regulated or unregulated, you should check your battery at that all time. Hmm. I'm watching the numbers, but no, there's a couple of people with close. Nobody's got it yet. Yeah. I've sent the numbers through to you and Aiden as well, Salford. So yeah, I, I've mind. got it. I've been watching as well, and I've seen the yeah. uh, the couple that was very close. Yeah. Obviously, we, you've got to get close to it. Uh, I'm not using that picture, by the way. Why? I put, I put it through for you for censorship first, and I didn't know whether I might offend you. I don't, I don't mind. That's all right. I, I think it should be used. Do you think? I mean, after all, I've got a girlfriend, not mine. <laughs> yeah, but I have to black the screen. <laughs> So what's the number? I don't even know the number. I've sent it to you. Did you? Yeah, I'll finish it. <laughs> and don't say it out loud. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you'll work it out anyway. The last person to make the order, if if he'd if he was in chat, he would know. Because the number's on the invoice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm, I tell you what, it's a good a good prize as well. Are you gonna actually sit down there and do it to the nearest one? Or No. Nope. I can tell you it's bigger than 50. Hmm. Yeah, I've got loads of people messaging me going, tell me the number. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on saying, give us a 10 and I will. 
Uh, Type in Smurf, it's bigger than 50. It's MF. MF's, he just wants MF. a hot shape. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're a cheat. No, he's not. No, he would never do that. I think he actually reviewed it as well to get over his channel and look after him. 889? <laughs> Good grief, I wish. 889, I'd be sat on a beach somewhere. I, I just want to know, that, that, when, as soon as we hit house. <laughs> so what does your family think about this then, Gaz? Are you doing it all? And... Yeah, done, just sorted. Done, got rid of. Yeah, yeah, no, they've all been... They've all been quite supportive. It's funny. I always say, I'm like, in it. we have a winner. Just have we got a winner? Seconds, I'm so... No, no, it's all right. That's cool. I'm just letting them know so they stop putting numbers in there. Yeah, go on, bro. Yeah, no, I was just saying. It's funny. No matter what hobby you're into, there's always a, there's always a, kind of, a serious side to it, and there's always a lot of people that know everything about it. And no, but they've all been really good. I've got quite a young family. I've got a five-year-old and twin one-year-olds. So. um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a boy girl. Yeah, so it's no pretty hectic. No that flat cap. You're bald, aren't you, son? <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. It's all good. He's not, he's going, son. I got a full head of hair. Yeah, it's going a bit grey though. It's going a bit grey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they, yeah, they will be really supportive. It's it, the hardest thing for me is obviously, um, like we, you were saying about youth vape, and obviously a bit different with a five-year-old and one-year-olds, but. Like my five year old's really interested. If I if I get something through the post, he's like, "Oh, what what's the new puff you got, Daddy?" And I'm like, oh, "Well, you know, he he wants to know, and I want to show him, but at the same time, it's really it's a real hard you know hard situation. Do I show him? And, it yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's pretty good. He understands his his daddy's daddy's toys, but um. Yeah, but yeah. the thing about it is it's, though is, is is my children sit here, and they that I've got um, one at seven, one at ten, one at eleven. And what happens is they, they, they actually copy it. So they go, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah my little boy started going, let's crack on, which is what I say all the time. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is, it is tough. It's a moral dilemma, but you just one, try One, of, one of the lads who used to come on uh, last of summer vapes is uh, WN8, um, and he, he, he was a great reviewer. He doesn't review really that much now, but, but he used to rub his hands, and he's got okay, because it's a bigger thing from, like, Manchester. Everybody goes, okay. Okay, hmm. and and he claps his hands, so we all used to take this out and go in. <laughs> okay, okay. Only really, because I do that as well, don't I? <laughs> it's, it's just something from Manchester. I, I watch something about canals. The only reason why I watch it because it actually come up on YouTube. Look at this woman's hatch, and um, <laughs> I thought it was something different, but it wasn't. It was just a canal in Manchester. That had, a, <laughs> that had an hatch that they actually... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so, right, then, who used to um, win? Gary F, 1872. The answer was 84. Gary, you have won the great big giveaway. So, make sure you get hold of Simon Coyley. You can do it on his Facebook page, or you can do it on his email address. And also, if you, you just let me know, Scottish Vapor... And I will send it out to you as well. Or the vape in Scotsman, whichever you prefer. Pardon? Vape in Scotsman. Or the vape in Scotsman, whichever you prefer. What did I say? The Scottish Vapor. They were close. <laughs> close but nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they could have been worse. <laughs> well, it's come to that point of the evening. We're, we're, we're 20 minutes over the show, boys. Well... It's been going all right, hasn't it? No blame, one blame chat. It's chat's fault. It's chat's fault, yeah. It's chat's for crashing. Point, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Thank there we go, lovely. Now, now, now I've got the streams crashed on me. Stream? <laughs> stream has. Yeah. On me. It's all right. It's, it's back to Jed. Mine's, mine's saying it's fine on this side. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it'll be YouTube. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry about the technical hitches. It's not my fault. Everything looks good. It's all your fault. I don't blame it's you anyway, Aiden. Did you put your picture up? No, oh, no, because I can't find it. Oh. Okay. No, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll, we'll add a scene. I'll put it. I'll put it on the Facebook group. We are going to go black people. Talk self or somebody else. Talk. Do you, what you want me to talk? I don't know what to say. You know I don't speak much. I'm doing a Simon. You know that. So, so, I'm going to get a, a technical picture up by uh, 
the, the story behind this picture was we were sat having a, a conversation <laughs> earlier this evening, uh, and Aiden froze on screen. Yes, he did. <laughs> you know, are, are we going to get this picture? Are we? Or is I it only the stay on. black? It's on. Everybody's seeing it now. Yeah. Come to me, big boy. It. I'm moist. Oh, there it is. Come on, big boy. I've got to see this. <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> what cap do you? You told your wife or what? <laughs> That's me and my white hair. She's probably now, watching. You see, you've got how many kids you got now? Three? Three, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Game I've got over. four, mate. That's what happens to you. I'm all three, two. <laughs> Should I stay to that? There's a bit of bump back mountain going on there, then, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know where you got the pictures there from, Aiden. You've taken that down now, haven't you? Yeah, you are. I am now. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get over to the wonderful Flat Cap Vapor. Um, we'll pass it straight over to the wonderful Salford. What am I going to do my part? Yeah, because what we're going to do now is we're going to do the Salford. Wait there, we've got yours. There we oh. go. Let's play your intro. Got an intro. Oh, Salford's quote of the it. week. <laughs> your quote of the week. And am I live? Yeah, of course you're live. Right. Thank you. Thank you, because I can't see bugger all. Right, first one. Time is a soul of the world. I've just seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> Pythagoras said that. Second one. The fool wonders. The wise man asks. That's very true. Mm. It is very, very, true. very, very, very so true. true. You know who said that? Benjamin Disraeli. You know. He's got a wonderful country. <laughs> 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 Neanderthal. I, I want. To, I want to hear a quote of the week from Salford. One that one that's your quote of the week. One that's mine. Yours. I don't have any that aren't full. You'll of have to think that's your that's your wrong. homework. That's your homework for next week. You have to think come up with your own quote of the week. Well, I normally I normally give my quotes of the week to you in private chats. No, I know, but they're not repeatable. And that's why I'm not saying me own. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that, that's it for quarter of the weeks, guys. That's it. And that's all I've got. I can't give any Salford quotes because they normally involve guns. <laughs> <laughs> so, say goodbye, Salford. Guys, you guys in chat, you make the show. Thank you very, very much for coming over. Don't forget to uh, give that uh, subscription over, you know, to Flat Cat Vapor. You know, great to have you on the show. It really was, and to listen about your story of how you become vaping and how, and when you become you know, a vapor and why you become a vapor, which is very good because I wish more people that had children or just having children to do that myself. Thank you to the wonderful Simon. I love him loads, really. And, of course, to the funny guy over there that keeps the show going, yo, 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 his little bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought that was him, then. That was such a good impression. <coughs> Practicing. We'll pass it over to the wonderful Mr. Coyley. Thank you very much to everybody in chat. Uh, really enjoyed it again tonight. Uh, as as Solf has just said, it's you that uh, you that makes it, you that keeps us here, uh, and and sort of keeps us sane. Uh, congratulations to both winners, and thank you for everybody who uh, who had a, a pop at that. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you to the lovely Mr. Salford. Um, Always good to have a, a bit of a, a bit of banter with you, sir. Uh, and to the wonderful Aiden for keeping things to, together as usual. Uh, and thank you to uh, Gaz, Mr. Flatcat, for coming onto the show. Very, very much appreciated. Great to have you uh, have you on here and learn a bit more about you. And thank you to all the spanners as, as usual again for for keeping things uh, straight and just. Flatcat, bro. It. I'm done. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone in chat, especially the David Beckham comments. I'm going to tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. That's really nice. No, thanks, everyone in chat. And obviously, to you three guys, Salford, Simon, appreciate you in the first place, Simon, um, being to me, and Aidan. Thanks so much for having me on. It's my first time in a live show, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm about, bro. A little bit nervous at the time, but I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed myself, so thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest thing I'd like to say is everybody in chat, you're a star. All the people who are actually uh, our spanners, 
Thank you so much, Chris, Mr. Ryan Braces. I love you loads, Alan. All the one, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bill Richards as well. Absolutely fantastic. I also want to say thank you so much to all the people who are watching this on the after show. You don't have to watch it live, but thank you so much for watching this on the after show bit. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for tuning in. Also, make sure you join us next week. We've got a new guest. What's the guest next week? Uh, sweet, sweet. Well, hopefully Swedish Vapor. I need to confirm it this week. But Swedish yes, hopefully. Uh, I hope you're going to confirm it. I've got questions. Yeah, he's got hot rods. He, he's the designer of the hot hot rod RDA. So he's got questions. <clears throat> I've, got, I've got questions. Devil's I might, de I might. I might play devil's advocate. Devil's now. advocate. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Everybody <clears> in chat, you have made this stream. Thank you so much. And. I, and again, people, look after yourselves, and we will see you next week. Same bat channel, same bat time. That's what GBV says, so I'm nicking it. We love you loads. Look after yourselves, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers, -bye. hands Dirty burger.